Hello, this is the introduction to internet piracy. First of all, I will be showing you a few things, not just downloading, but a few things you should know before you start downloading. First of all, you should have a Rapture Premium account, mainly because it's a lot faster to get the stuff you want, and it's a little bit safer to torrent can contain viruses and whatnot. All you do is go to Premium Zone, log in, and buy an account. You can use PayPal or direct credit or whatever. Really, it's 1060 American, 650 Euro. Now, um, nothing's actually free. That's one example. Alright, now the site where you go to download said files, warriors-bb.org. You just make an account, click search, type in what you're looking for, say, let's see, jumper. It's not even on DVD yet, but I'm sure they have it. Just go down to movies, hit search, and here you go. You got a whole list of results. Now this site doesn't post the direct links because they can get in trouble for that. So they code their links. If you start posting that direct, I hope you code your links too. So you don't get yelled at. Anyways, to... So you don't have to like... Download one at a time. It's just download an internet download manager. That way you can just highlight a group right click and hit download with IDM which is internet download manager however there are some settings you need to set before you start downloading with internet download manager very easy to set let me open it up I got the portable version because it's lighter and I didn't have to install anything Let's see go up to options then go to downloads and make it settings exactly as I have mine. Th this just so that when you download something you don't get a box that prompts you that you're about to download or, or the download is finished. This is very useful if you're downloading something that's like a hundred files or it's just useful. Trust me. Now how you start the downloads. You just highlight a group, right click and hit resume download. These are already complete so I can't select it. Just remove them when you're done. Now um, a lot of people get confused on this and I don't know why. Oh, and also I suggest you use Firefox by the way. And um, whenever you have a whole bunch of downloads in, in RAR files you just right click the first RAR file, open it and extract everything out of it. That's it. Don't extract anything out of the other RAR files and make sure you have all the RAR files in one folder or else it's not going to work. Alright. I'm probably running out of time for this video so I'll make a second introduction video.